hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification to turn it on. Sit back and enjoy the video. Welcome once again to Martinsville, Virginia. MRN is proud to present live coverage of today's Martinsville 500. This track presents quite a challenge for the drivers and the crews, doesn't it, Barney? Yeah, the short, flat, and narrow surface causes a lot of cars to get together here. Sometimes it's unintentional, but usually it's a friendly reminder of who's running around here. Jeff Gordon will attempt to build on his points lead in this race. You know, I'll tell you, consistency is the key to the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. If he can remain focused on that, he has a good shot at winning. Ricky Rudd must have had problems in qualifying this week. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Shona Robinson hasn't made much of a move in the point so far. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. It just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. What's going on everyone? My name is Kyle here is AKA Racer Night 99. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do race number 32 to 36 of the NASCAR Thunder 2003 West Play. We're here in Martinsville Speedway once again. So we qualify 17th. Can we go four in a row? We're about to find out. Let's go racing here at Martinsville. And Tony Stewart alongside with Scott Wimmer, one and two. Here we go. Martinsville once again, here we go, green flag, racing here in Martinsville again. Oh man. He's trying to hard on the brakes already in, in the first lap. Trying to get to the top 10 over the 19 of Jeremy, Jeremy Mayfield. Oh, hit the back bumper of the 43 car. Side by side for 7th over Matt Kenseth or 8th. Goodness. I'm up to seventh right now. Trying to get the third on uh, six on Tony Stewart. And into the top five. Oh. Well, contact me in the one car. I'm up to four. Wow, I made it to the top five. Qualify 17. Now I'm up to four. Oh, hit the wall. Who's in second? Is that Jeff Burton in second? Yes, it is. Jeff Burton's up to second. Trying to get the third on my teammate Jimmy Johnson. Got a good run for third. Now I'm trying to get the second on Jeff Burton. And now have a chance to go for the race lead on Scott Wimmer. Here I come for the race lead. To the lead in Martinsville. Now Jeff Burton trying to go for second. Burton now up to second. Scott Wimmer in third. 
And Jimmy Johnson's in fourth. Got the fastest lap. Now here comes Jeff Burton. Jeff Burton's got a good race car. He's on the inside. Trying to defend the lead on Jeff Burton. Catching up the loud traffic a little bit here. And Burton's catching up a little bit. Jeff Burton's got a good race car. He's up to second. You know, he almost got for the race lead, but trying to defend the lead on Jeff Burton. Still catching up the lap traffic. And now there's a caution. And there's a crash in turn two. Oh my goodness. Let's see what happened. Terry Wabani in the five car. Around he goes. Oh my goodness, the 37 is almost upside down. And the 5 car almost barrel rolled. 37 almost upside down. And the 5 car was almost upside down. There, Yep. Anyway, that was the first caution already. And anyway, green flag back to the air. Me and Jeff Burton 1 and 2. Now Scott Wimmer trying to go for... Uh, for second, but it's still in third right now. It's going to be 11 laps to go here in Martinsville, so we got 11 to go. Hopefully we, we don't make any mistakes. Now here comes Jeff Burton on the inside. Still trying to defend the lead. Hit the back bumper. Here comes Jeff Burton to the lead in Martinsville. A huge run on the outside and back to the lead. It's a good battle though. Very good battle for the race win. Got the fastest lap. Oh man. It's a good battle. It's a good battle for the race lead. Trying to pull away a little bit, but Jeff Burton's catching up though. He almost catched me up again. Look at this. It's a great, fantastic battle. Me and Jeff Burton. Here comes Burton on the inside once again. Still side by side. And Jeff Burton will take the lead here in Martinsville. Oh, got a good run. Back to the lead and the inside contact's made. And to the lead once again. Uh oh, who's going the pit road? Ryan Newman again? And engine problems again? Just, just like what happened last race. Last race, he was uh, a battle for the race for the win. And Charlotte at the engine problems. 
and now Ryan Newman once again had an unanswered problems again. That's the second time that happened. Anyway, now we're catching up the lap traffic. I see Terry Wabani up there. We got three laps to go. Trying to pull away off on Jeff Burton. Coming to two laps to go here in Martinsville Speedway. Two to go. There we go. Here it comes to the white flag. One lap to go here in Martinsville Speedway. Final lap. Gotta say, qualify 17th. Car's been very good all day. Down the back straightaway for the final time. And this is gonna be four wins in a row. And we're gonna win here in Martinsville again. Kyle Petty rounds up the top five. All right, time to do some burnouts. We grab the checker flag in Martinsville for four wins in a row. We have to motor speed with for next race for race number 33 to 36. So it's time to go with our victory lane to celebrate four wins in a row, and we got the win in Martinsville. Alright, so let's take a look at the results. So I get the win here at Martinsville. Four wins in a row. Jeff Burton finished in second. Jimmy Johnson third. Matt Kenseth fourth. Kyle Petty top five. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell to get you turned on. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. See you guys next time. Have an amazing, awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep it rich. Have a great day. See you guys soon, and have a fantastic, awesome day.